So when you look through a telescope, you're looking back in time because the things that are very far away are very old. Light takes time to reach us. And so if you look at the distribution of galaxies in the universe and so on, what you have is a sort of fossil record of the universe. Uh, in the sense that you have the different layers at different times and you can see the evolution and you can see the contents at different times. And this is not a perfect record in the sense that, you know, some layers are mixed up and some layers are missing and whatever, but you get a lot of information. And there's one very important layer, which is in this image here, which is the cosmic microwave background. That's the oldest light that we get from the universe. And this light is more than 13 billion years old. So 13,000 million years old. Um, and what we see at that point is that the universe was extremely smooth because what you have in this picture are very small density contrasts of about one part in 10 to the five. So I mean, basically nothing, but that's exactly what you need in order to get all the galaxies and everything that we see in the universe today. So the million dollar question is, where did these come from, these fluctuations? And the answer is amazing, we think, we're not completely sure, but uh, it looks like they were generated in the first fraction of a fraction of a second after the Big Bang. And so um, by looking at these things, you can learn about what was going on in the universe really at the very, very beginning. And so in that, in that sense, we are observing the Big Bang. So what we do is we do particle physics at this, this first fraction of a second. And at the same time, we need to understand how to extract the information from the fossil record to be able to do this. And so we're extremely happy that uh, FOM is going to fund our team to do this project. It's uh, fantastic.